In previous Dune Lore videos, I talked about sandworm riding and how the Fremen learned to do it, including the tale of how they initially figured it out. But this video, I want to specifically talk about a certain tool used for sandworm riding. Hey, welcome to my Intro to Dune series where I try to cover Dune topics in five minutes or under, hopefully getting you hyped for the Dune movie coming out this December. Please watch it. We need a part two. So this video, I want to talk about maker hooks. From a previous video, you know that roughly 3,000 years before the main Dune book, the Fremen discovered worm riding quite by accident. The story goes that a group of Fremen were investigating a new spice sand spot when a large sandworm appeared very close to them. One member of the party was too stunned to get to safety, and in a stupid moment of fear, the man grabbed the edge of one of the worm's ring segments. Luckily, when he grabbed the segment, it caused the sandworms to roll over and put the segment being held by the man in the air, resulting in the man's sitting atop the worm as it traveled through the desert. And that's how the Fremen figured out by opening a scale on a sandworm, it would turn to keep that scale exposed towards the sky until the scale was put back in place. Meaning you could ride them that way. Within days, the first maker hooks or hooks designed to catch and hold open the edge of a worm's skin segments were created. Though obviously they were very crude at first. Eventually, they ended up learning that they could also control the worm's lateral movement by attaching maker hooks to them and pulling to forcibly change the direction. So let's describe these maker hooks, though I'm sure you can already envision them in your own head or you've seen the previous Dune adaptations. Maker hooks are made by Fremen to ride the sandworms, and they were typically long and thin and made of spice plastic, or plastic made from spice, as the Fremen had a shit ton of that. The hooks were around 4.5 to 6.5 feet in length and half an inch in diameter. The size of the maker hook was honestly, though, dependent on the size of the sandworm being attempted and the skill of the user, so there was a lot of variation. The shaft was bonded with a plasteel hook that was barbed at the tip. Getting your own hook in the Fremen culture was a huge, huge deal. I mean, learning to ride a sandworm was a big deal at the age of 12 in the Fremen culture, and part of that was earning their own hooks. It is believed that young Fremen collect one item at a time to create their Frem kit or desert survival kit, so getting your first maker hook is a, a pretty big deal. But because of how they viewed sandworms and how sacred they were to them, there were some superstitions attached to maker hooks. Such as, if a Fremen missed an attempt to ride a sandworm with a maker hook, it was seen as bad luck for the tribe or group for the entirety of the day. Though of course you have the other side of it where if your maker hook has never failed, it is considered a big deal and the owner of said hook is given a great deal of respect. All right, those are maker hooks in the Dune verse. Uh, you can like, you can subscribe, you can jump on your right foot, you can jump on your left, it really doesn't matter, you're in control of you. Unless you're not.